EpiHealth is a unique database and also a national infrastructure for researchers uh, interested in chronic diseases uh, among both middle-aged and elderly people. We know quite a lot about risk factors for chronic diseases like dementia, uh, diabetes, uh, cardiovascular diseases and functional impairment, but we know less about uh, gene uh, interactions, gene environment interactions. Uh, put in, in another way, how come that some people exposed for some risk factors develop a disease while others uh, don't? That could be a, a difference in susceptibility, thus uh, gene environment interactions that could explain it. I'm professor in genetic epidemiology and that means that I study uh, genetic factors and genetic variations and their role in uh, human disease and in human health. I could say that it's kind of a revolution in this area because we know so much more about the role of different genetic factors in human disease uh, today as compared to just uh, like six years ago. One of the achievements we can see from the EpiHealth study is an individualized advices regarding changes in lifestyle for different people. And it's pretty obvious that some people could, for example, smoke all their life without problem, while others get lung cancer at early age. And that's probably because they got different genes. And it's probably not just about genes. It could be about different kind of metabolites, different proteins, etc. So we are not only measuring the genes in EpiHealth, we are also using these new omics technologies to get a profile for each subject. To understand this, we have to sample quite a lot of people. It's not enough with thousands, we need tens of thousands of subjects. And with EpiHealth, we intend to sample about 300,000 subjects from the Malmö and Uppsala regions. We can now begin to use these open access national resource for research. So we therefore now invite Swedish researchers to look at our data and see if they can use the EpiHealth cohort in their research. So Skåne has had a long tradition over several decades with different patient cohorts and now adding another cohort, the unique EpiHealth cohort is fantastic. And we can also connect uh, those cohorts to our high quality healthcare data registers or databases. And further we have one fourth of the national quality or disease registers actually based here in Skåne, which we are very proud of. Well, our research program integrates observational epidemiology and clinical trials to study gene environment interactions. And we do that uh, in adult populations and in pregnant populations. And the integration of, of those two different settings to study gene environment interactions is a unique uh, way of uh, addressing that research question. Uh, one of the main studies that we're collaborating on uh, is a genetic study using materials from the Uppsala EpiHealth cohort. And so EpiHealth has been very um, useful for us in that context. We've also established a, uh, an educational exchange program with Harvard, which is uh, sponsored in part by EpiHealth. And so that, uh, that network of, um, of education um, that includes Umeå University, Lund University and, and Harvard um, uh, would not be possible without the uh, financial support of the EpiHealth um, SFO. So we benefited uh, very much uh, from EpiHealth. I think that uh, it is uh, a unique opportunity for Skåne region to uh, collaborate as we are doing with the EpiHealth program because it will give us a lot of important information about the health and the health care for the Skåne region people now and in the future. So during these last six to seven years, thousands of different genetic variations have been identified associated with different uh, common human diseases. Today we don't know or understand yet uh, why these variants associate with human diseases, but in the future when we know more, so uh, I think this will, be, this will contribute 
uh, extremely much to understanding of human biology and uh, human diseases.